About 300 names of women were submitted by the public. Guess who received the greatest number of votes? St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. She was the youngest of 13 children. She grew up, born on July 15, 1850, in a small village near Milan, Italy. She was always fascinated by stories of missionaries, and she made up her mind that she was going to become a nun and join a religious order. But because of her frailty and her poor health, she was not permitted to join the one order that really kind of educated her, the Daughters of the Sacred Heart. They had been her teachers, and it was under their guidance that she kind of grew in her faith. In 1880, she had seven <clears throat> female companions, and she founded the Institute of the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She was very resourceful, and she was able to find people who were willing to donate to support this idea of the Institute. Money, time, labor, okay? She and her sisters actually wanted to go to China to be missionaries, but when she visited Rome and had an audience with Pope Leo XIII, he said to her, that she shouldn't go to the east, but she should head west to America, to New York. She was to help thousands of Italian immigrants who were pouring into New York <clears throat> during that decade of our history. In 1889, you know, New York was not what it is today. Well, maybe it's the same, but it was filled with chaos and poverty with so many poor immigrants uneducated immigrants, people who didn't speak the language, coming into the city. So Mother Cabrini and her sisters organized catechism classes, education classes, English language classes for these Italian immigrants. She provided for the needs of many who were orphans who were coming over and sent over from Italy. She established schools and orphanages. Against all odds, she and her sisters were able to kind of organize the Italian immigrant community and help it to prosper and grow. Soon she started receiving requests to open schools in other parts of the world. She traveled to Europe, Central and South America, and throughout the United States. She crossed the Atlantic Ocean 23 times and established 67 Catholic institutions, schools, hospitals, and orphanages. Her activity like this continued until her death on December 22nd, 1917. Chicago. In 1946, she was canonized by Pope Pius XII in recognition of her holiness and her service to humanity. She was named patroness of immigrants in 1950. She's the first saint to be consecrated who lived, or canonized, who lived in America. Today, the missionary sisters <clears throat> and the lay order, the third order, and volunteers work as teachers, nurses, social workers, administrators, members of institutional boards and trustees. They can be found on six continents and 15 countries throughout the world, wherever there is a need. Now back to New York City. When the committee came up with the final nominations for additional statues of women to be honored, Mother Cabrini was left off the list. Even though she had the most votes, from the public, even though she received the greatest number of nominations, she was excluded. I suppose the idea of honoring a Catholic nun was just too conservative for the selection committee. I then read that Governor Andrew Cuomo was so troubled by her exclusion that he announced the state of New York would pay for a statue of her somewhere. In any event, Mother Cabrini, like all of our church's saints, probably wouldn't care about having a statue in her honor. She enjoys something much better, a place in the kingdom of God.